Why will you take this long to get to my look at dreams, man? I thought we did this one. <laughs> I thought that T Tasmanian Devil, what are you doing in my house? We've done this for many years. Please don't eat me. <laughs> I'm out of chicken, and you look like chicken. Oh, I'm not going to say. You miss, you miss that, you you miss co do collection week. Taz is a tax collector, dude. That they should totally make a short of that. You know that shows up. It's like hello. You know that does remind me of something that they did in New Looney Tunes, where like like yeah. Foghorn was trying to come up with various things to keep Taz busy so he'd stay away from the chicken coop, and one of them uh -huh. is do my taxes, and it cuts to Taz at a desk crunching numbers, and he just goes, "You owe money." <laughs> <laughs> just all in, like that's it. But yes, uh, but yes. Pardon. Uh, first off, pardon Sylvester trying to get Tweety. And yes, there's a very good reason why we're busting out the Taz impressions because, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a look at of a game that I have a bit of history to, and um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to Taz Wanted for the PlayStation Two. Oh, ouch! There's the uh, there's the eponymous thingamajig there. Just had to ruin the Sylv Sylvester's uh, midnight lunch or midnight dinner. What am I saying? Yeah. So as we see here, oh god, he's going on the prowl across the world and. Mm -hmm. There's oh, hey, Riley. Oh, what the heck was that about? Or was that Ralph? Oh no, Red Nose is Ralph. No, it's Wiley. Yeah. I mean, like... honestly. Hmm. I mean, they are basically the same. The nose is the only real distinction. Why was Wiley in the Great Wall of China anyway? I don't know. I, he was on holiday. Oh, why is Elmer in France? He's a tourist. Whoop. Oof. Hey. Those are some very nice pictures, don't get me wrong. Meanwhile, down here... And Daffy's a salesman. In Russia. Whoop. Hey. Why is he in Russia? Well, that was close. Oh. That was a good... Oh! Oh! So, I mean, you're kind of already seeing a trend here. And, of course, it all comes to a head in With Sam's Casino. With Sam. Do Oh, oh devil <laughs> damn it! He would say that. I mean, it is appropriate considering that, you know, Taz is a Tasmanian devil. So, yeah, yeah. all across the world. Let's see what you did there, Steve. Taz is causing all much, so much mayhem, but the tunes are having none of it. Yeah. And thus, welcome to the grand conflict of today's Ooh. life. <laughs> Somebody look up for me. <laughs> ah, yes, they are, Taz, because as Hype mentioned... Oh, hang on, we got to move. Got my play the game! Come on, play it! Okay, oh, okay, okay. Cal calm, your, calm your fur down a bit, Tazzy. Jeez. Welcome to Taz Wanted for PlayStation 2. I grew up with GameCube version originally, but James wanted PlayStation 2. Oh, I did, I did, I, I did have, a, uh, so yeah, but so the, so basically what we're doing is we're doing the get PS2 version of the game, because I actually have tested out all the multiple versions of the game, and from what uh -huh. I have tested out, the PS2 version seems to run the best of the, of, all, of the three, so, or at least, you know, of all the options available, so that's why we're doing that version, but, I mean, it's still the same game regardless, just with better audio and uh, visual quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go ahead and set up a new game. Uh, and, which uh, for you those, guys and for those wondering, no, you will not you will not be seeing any sign of you know who. I'm too busy playing basketball with LeBron James. James. I'm curious. Yeah. Especially. Yeah, because that this this game was this game was part of a somewhat experimental era of Looney Tunes games where uh, games were just things in general where bugs had barely any presence in it. Like you'll get a line referencing him here and there, but he has no like appearance in the game at all. By the way, neither does Porky. I don't know why he's here. What about us? I, why? Is, uh, uh, well, no matter. Pick your favorite one. Let's get on with the plot and see where we're going today in our in a little in our little live look at of a uh, back into hyped childhood. All right. By the way, so, by the way, Taz, do you know? By the way, Tazzy, do you know how to handle that controller? What's a controller? Just uh, somehow he would somehow Taz would be able to be the ones who could properly. Use the N64 controller. With oh yeah, one foot. thing that the game does remember that is a thing is not just Taz, but is uh, often forgotten waifu, the Tasmanian she devil, because she and Taz are having a wonderful life together in Aww. the world of Tasmania. Down in Tasmania. I was gonna Down say Tasmania. Tasmania. I don't. Even, I don't even know if Tasmania remembers the she devil. I don't think so. Nah. Flower for you. <laughs> I find dead plant. Taz can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, that But something happened. Now he's captured. 
And so and it's so the She-Devil. Welcome to Yosemite Park and Zoo. Now get so yeah, uh, Sam, not terribly happy about what Taz is causing all the problems, so lock him up for his little zoo. Yep. And basically, so guess, Sam, I was about to say, Sam kind of serves as like the game's antagonist in that basically not only is he keeping us in this zoo, but he's also taken the She-Devil and is basically taking him to pretty much his... Well, first off, he's going to take him to a gladiator show that they're about to mention in a little bit, then take him to his own personal amusement park, which that's another thing he's doing. He's converting Tasmania into like a cheap universal park knockoff called Tasland. Oh, no. I guess with that, with all that I said, I was going to say, with how we're hearing, who's the one who did all the Looney Tunes voices this time around? Well, that is the. Whoop. But yeah, the, just to answer Logan's question, uh, that is the the one, the good, the only Jim Cummings still voicing Taz. To this day, still my favorite of Taz. Um, that's Maurice Lamarche as the Yosemite Sam. Um, I don't know if Jim was also the She Devil or if that was someone else. I'd have to double check on that. Okay. Well, so yeah, uh, um, so yeah, Taz is broken loose and now is wanted by every everyone across the park. Because mm -hmm. Yosemite Sam got bank. But Taz got spin. And mad oh. strength. And a very ear catching ska soundtrack. Whoop. You want to say that? Or at least I. Or not, maybe not so much ska, but this is definitely a lot more peppy than what I'd ex expect out of Looney Tunes. Oh boy. Oh no. no. It, it's, it's really bombastic. Oh. Jeez. Oh, yeah, they. Give Ta you gotta give Sam credit. He did take a lot of precautions on the off chance Taz would escape, but Taz is a very indestructible little furball, so he manages to get through mostly unscathed. Oh. Taz all wet now. Well, that furball's blown the coop. So yeah, basically now that we've escaped, uh, Sam's pretty much put a big bounty on our head. <laughs> uh, okay. Like well. I'll say Tweety. Oh, hello, not related to any of the events we just saw. Yeah, so just to give, Tweety here is going to be sort of our Navi in a sense of like, he's going to be giving us like advice and tips throughout the entire game. And I'm just going to say right now, like, disregard what you know about Tweety and anything you see and anything, and anything. This is probably the most passive aggressive Tweety has ever been in any of the games or anything. Huh. Yeah, no, Tweety's a little punk in this game, and honestly, it makes me wonder why Taz doesn't just up and eat the little birdie. Now, be mindful of this store. This is technically a world select, but we haven't been this world yet, so don't mind it real quick. Oh, I thought there was going to be like a hub of sorts, but okay, I guess we are just moving towards oh, the Oh, jeez! Yeah, that's just a little attack. So, to give controls, Taz can jump. I don't think he can double jump. I think he need a costume for that. He can uh -huh. do his iconic spin, as you can see here. This right there, I think it's meant to be just kind of like... Uh, I think with weaker enemies, it's a screen nuke. Um, you'll have to forgive me if I don't remember the specifics. It's been we'll a while. Let's, uh, let's, let's just hop into the next. Let's just hop into the first level, and we'll talk Oop. some a bit about this. Well, while you're doing that, uh, so I now, so oh, I already know that hype has had some definitely prior experience with this. James, what have your experiences been with Has Wanted? Um, I didn't play. I didn't really get this game growing up, though I do remember it being advertised here and there. Um, as of recently, though, I did try, you know, testing testing it out for myself because, you know, I have I have sort of been in that phase where I want to try out a couple more Looney Tunes games, and well, this is the one I definitely remember hearing about the most. So I guess I give it a shot, and I'll give credit where it's due. Like it looks nice, it mostly sounds nice, and to some degree, it does play pretty okay. But there are certain gimmicks in the game that sort of prevent it from being a real star-studded success, like the game wants it, wants you to think it is. Yeah, uh, I get. So far, I guess I would say my favorite of the bunch I've seen that you guys have shown me so far would either be... Uh, what was the one that starred Daffy Duck? Uh, um, the, you, that kind of narrows it down because there's a lot of them that star Daffy. <laughs> the 3D PlayStation 2 Daffy one. Uh, 3D PlayStation 2 Daffy. Uh, uh, back in action? Maybe? I, don't, I mean, uh, that, that's, the, that's the one that has, has both him and Bugs literally reenacting a very abridged version of the, the back in action movie with I, the stuff that actually people wanted at the movie to be. Right, I just, I, for some reason I remember like a, a colorful level platforming Daffy. 
But anyway, just to interrupt real quick, oh, basically, he, the big gist of what you want to do in every level in Taz Wanted is that, as you saw before, there's a bunch of, like, these wanted posters, and in this case, wanted signs, basically advertising, hey, get the Tasmanian Devil. Your goal is to take down every single one of these wanted contraptions that will increase the bounty on your head. And the bounty increases in a number of ways, either destroying those tro either destroying those, or causing a bunch of destruction around because like the level does have like fairly big destructible areas that you can like go nuts in and you can also do stuff like get a hundred sandwiches in every level and whatnot basically the more tasness that you do in each level it increases a bounty over your head and the bounty is what you use to both progress and also unlock stuff in the game's extra menu and just right and just like that the game's gonna the game wants you to just go like rock on and roll out tosses you right into it well then all right i mean so uh, so already off the top the, off the top of my head with all with the objective based gameplay in this kind of soundtrack it kind of almost gives me a similar vibe to say tony hawk uh speaking of which uh tazzy boy would you mind going into that there phone booth um i will in a second first let me destroy some of these Ouch. oh oh that was an electric fence don't worry yeah, basically, Taz, for the most part, is indestructible in this game. Like, any, obst any like obstacles and whatnot just briefly inconvenience him. It's kind of so like he Wario Land in that regard. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I get, he does kind of sound like the... He does seem like the Wario of Looney Tunes Land. But yeah, so what goes on in the telephone booth? So, also taking a cue from Wario Land, as well as a bunch of other games, there's these phone booths that give Taz costumes that pretty much give him, like, certain abilities. In the case of this one, he gets himself a snazzy skateboarder ability. Oh, Dude. I'm just it's like that. Progress. I get better. Uh, so, all right then. Uh, well, right off the bat, we already have our first sign here. There we go. Oh, they'll my. never, they'll never know who who it was who did this. Uh oh. Yeah. I don't mind the slowdown. That that's in intentional. It's epic. Anyway, uh, Sealy, uh, you were mentioning not this game, but with uh, Tasmania. What has been your like history with Looney Tunes games? I, the only one I've ever played with someone, actually, uh, I said I said earlier <laughs> that it, it might have been for the SNES. I was wrong. It was actually for the Sega Genesis. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, I, Escape from I, Mars. Is she talking about Tasmania? The, oh, jeez. Tasma oh, yeah, boy. I'm talking about Tasmania. For the Sega well, I was about Genesis. to because I do know that there is one for the Genesis <laughs> called Escape from Mars. Hmm, probably could be, but, but anyway, continue CD with the Looney Tunes games. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I. It's been a long time. I, I can't really remember. I can't exactly remember what I did, or what the game was about. It, like I said, it was years ago, but. I do remember playing it with a friend for. Yeah, I, I did look it up. Oh, boy. There, there is Tasmania for the Sega Genesis. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did. We actually did that for a look at a little while back, and it's like, I'm not gonna miss words. It's one of those games that's interesting, but for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. Sort of, and yeah. I, the deaths always used to disturb me. That's one thing I remember about it. No, yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess I can see you coming from there. Uh, I again did not have much experience with the Looney Tunes games apart from another game we'll be looking at later, Space Race, and. I think I think I had some of the portable like the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Uh, I, I I kind of for all intents and purposes kind of missed out on uh, this Taz. whole. Uh, the heck do we get there? Hype. It's some burping soda. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. I mean, he may not be able to swim, but he can sure skip a beat. Oh, oh geez. Oh my bad. But, I yeah, accidentally no, hit the these, wrong button. Those free, those freaking those freaking uh, task catchers, as I like to call them, are an absolute nuisance. Like even regardless of how much of a destructive beast that you are, they still find a way is to literally get the grab on you. Right. Yeah. And basically, if uh, they capture you, they do lower the bounty that's on your head. Okay. Uh, but I'm assuming there is a, there is like some high score thing of sorts, like a, a level rating depending on how high oh, you on, get the bounty before you finish. Um. Kind of. Basically, the highest it can Ooh, get nice. is if you destroy all the destructibles in a level, and pretty much destroying all of the uh, wanted posters. Okay. Gotcha. We need a key for this guy. Oh, no, we don't. I just have to go back the other way. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, for all intents and purposes, I kind of... Oh, I almost thought we were locked in for a moment. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I was kind of locked out of the... Oh, jeez. I was kind of... Uh... 
I kind of missed out on this whole generation of Looney Tunes games. Jeez, I think you, I think you just, I think you just I think you just took out the took out the cousins of the three bears. Oh no! No, basically also, what I how, need is that's another yeah. thing that I need the burping thing for. Oh, it, uh, it is the burp. Oh, oh, that's right. That's for your uh, your screen nuke thingy, isn't it? Yeah. I just gotcha. Have to, okay. Just got. Find I think out it was to the was left, gun. and it was. Uh, uh oh. There it is. Watch There's out for the that fizz. car. Okay. Now you're ready. And. Go! Brunch! And it destroyed that beehive, which is another wanted thing. Jesus. That was not a safe place to put it, but okay. Well, yeah, that is part of the challenge. He wants to put them in places where Taz cannot destroy them. Now watch as Taz tediously tries to eat every single bee from that beehive. Because, you know, he, they eat just about everything, including rabbits. Okay, let me yeah, see if I can... I'll do it. I wonder if I can destroy that. Okay, I can't, because I do know there is a wanted poster on that truck. It's one of the destructibles. Okay. By the way, is there okay. a reason why is there a reason why there's all these teen like these sticks of dynamite laying around? Oh yeah, is that um, actually like a, a threat to us? Not really. It just kind of like stops Ooh. you. Okay. Well, I mean, fair enough. That I guess I, sh I I should not have doubted the power of the Tasmanian Devil. Uh, how long would you say this game is roughly? Uh, the game is a few hours long. I can't give you like a specific cap, but it definitely will take you a bit if you want to like go from game to end. Okay. There we okay, go. That'll good. take care of the card. Okay, it only stuns for a bit, though. Oh, it only stuns up. Yeah. Only the costumes can like fully defeat them. At the very least, you, at the very least, you can you know put the costume back on whenever you want. You just gotta go back to that specific phone booth. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! This game is. Oh my. This game. This game really loves its freaking uh dis like <laughs> wanted poster destruction shots. Physics. Oh yeah. And yeah. Oh, how many how many levels would you say there are? Um, I think I'm trying to think. I want to say there's at least three or four for every world, and I want to say there's at least four to five worlds. Okay. So you so uh, you do oh, get just... a, you do get your hours worth if you decide to give this game a shot and you know uh, get used to the game's somewhat jank, somewhat jank uh, mechanics. Right. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, out of the ones I've seen so far, one of my favorites would probably either be. Uh, I, I don't know if I would like. I don't know if I'd say I like this one more than uh, Sheep Raiders. Uh, what do you think about uh, of this generation, which was probably one of your favorite type? Oh boy. Well, I definitely do have a funds for Sheep Raiders, just because that one definitely felt like the most experimental out of all of them. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh yeah, real real classy there, game. Every once in a while, when you jump, he lets out a fart. I, I actually didn't know that. He he's vul Oop. I mean he, he's vulgar enough the Tasmanian and, and and likely in the okay so wait what can we <laughs> okay that won't work I have to hold on to that for later <laughs> I'm sorry what you did there actually did kind of feel like a gag to me where he goes to this whole elaborate now I'm ready and walks two centimeters and has the exact same results as before <laughs> Taz wanted to be Tony Hawk when he grew up he didn't exactly become Tony Hawk but he ate the hawk. There's there's no there's no choose skate life skate life choose Taz. <laughs> <laughs> so here Taz am doing everything Taz can. Holding on to what Taz am is I'm pretending sorry. Taz is super Taz. Uh, silly. Um, I don't know if we ever like. I feel like we might have asked this a few times, but I guess it wouldn't hurt just to iterate. Um, do you have any particular experience with like any Looney Tunes stuff or like any stuff involving Taz? Um, aside from a Tasmania, not really. But, well, yeah, maybe, silly, maybe in a little while, maybe in a, just as he wrecks this frat guy's shit. Um, uh, what was I going to say? After this, I do believe, I mean, if you would like to, uh, we would love to have you on board for our eventual space race. It's basically, uh, it's basically like a crazy Mario Kart of sense of sorts for Looney Tunes. Nice. What is that? What is that oh, switch control? Uh, the switches activate, like, little time things, like these guys right here. Oh, okay, so hurry, and... Nice. Well, I already got rid of them, so... Oh, the box. Oh, I see what you're saying with that. Mm-hmm. Those levels are pretty big. Uh, I'll admit, I think a mini-map would be very helpful, or some sort of map right about now. It oh, would. yeah, definitely. Hey, you know what? You know what, though? Maybe that's part of the, part of the point. Uh, your savvy sand was too cheap to is to you know make maps for his park. 
I have honestly, hungry. yeah. And we're trying to make it nice and rich and unexplored. What's up, CD? I apologize in advance for any yawning. I don't know why. I'm just feeling really tired. Almost. We did a workout earlier today. Yeah, what? and I, al I already took it out. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's why you want to knock him out. They only know it. Well, at least I know well, who they are, so I can do this. Okay, size. So and now, do those switches only uh, deactivate certain traps or all traps globally? They only deactivate these guys. Okay, okay. Charge up. Yeah, no, I just uh, do we get anything for collecting enough sandwiches? Um, if you collect 100 sandwiches, you do. It does increase your bounty. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so okay, so I think we're starting to get the idea is that it's it's like a cross between. Grand Theft Auto and a collectathon. Essentially, yeah. That sounds okay. about right. Right. Oh, avoid the zookeeper. They, they, they're they're everywhere. This is not a very safe place for anyone to be. Oh, I mean, this. Let me real. Let's be real though. This is nowhere near accurate to the cartoons, where you know, even those guys were scared out, scared shitless over trying to keep Taz captured, and then once oh. the moment he's free, they just go into panic. Well, that's what I'd yeah. imagine. Like this is like, uh, w what does an army think it can hold to Taz? We have an army. We have a Taz. I mean, that's <laughs> exactly it. I, oh, uh, ha haven't ouch. there been like parodies already that have made Taz be basically the Hulk? Well, the, the, honestly, Taz in many regards kind of is like the Looney Tunes equivalent of Hulk. Even more so than Gossamer, for whatever reason. Yeah, for for the times they try. Oh, oh. oh okay, man. Nice. Gotcha. Oh, oh good timing on that. That could have been deadly. So, so do those guys are those guys respawning or? Oh Whee! god! Oh boy, they they. How much is it? They don't respawn if you take them out with a costume attack, but they will only be stunned if you hit them with any other attack. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and we'll slide down oh, here. Yeah. Oh, and that's why we can now knock down the tree as the little Tweety bird in our head told us to. Gimber. Wee okay, oh. that's four. We just need three more, then we can beat this I level. I was kind of oh, hoping that go. it would... Oh, okay. I was like, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more... Do <laughs> there we go. Now we can go through there. Oh, do. You said we have a problem. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. They just go, they go through the they go through the entire moon mission. They just get up there, like finally landing on the rocket, taking their first steps. And Taz is just over there, like, "What take you so long?" long. You know, thinking about it now, I know there's really not much of a call for it in this day and age. But a part of me wouldn't mind seeing like a modern day Taz game, where it has a similar level of um, testing your abilities, kind of like say Super Meat Boy. I can see yeah. that happening. Oh. <laughs> Super Meat Boy or Cloud Bill, where you just go, you just go nuts and all over the place with your little spin move there. Yeah. Honestly, if not that, I kind of wouldn't mind them giving something like Taz One another chance because I do think this has the foundation for a pretty good like Taz game. It just, like James says, it just needs a little bit of refining in a lot of areas. And yeah, not make the and not make the guards so goddamn bro broken. So. Yeah, they're very swift on that. What's up? What's health like in this game? Uh, like well, I said, Taz basically is indestructible. Like, nothing can really kill him, per se. It's just that the environment can stun him or sometimes lower his bounty if he gets caught. Right. Basic yeah, so we are, for all intents and purposes, invincible. I would uh, say, from what I've noticed, is that the one thing you got to watch out for is, like, um, the, <gasps> wor the closest thing we have to some sort of health is our bounty. Because, you know, whenever we do get captured, it gets it, it decreases a little bit. And I don't... Is that is that bounty is that bounty um can you reclaim that bounty? Um you can by causing like destruction throughout the level and whatnot. Ah, okay. Well I guess there's that. Okay. Like for example, it's I saw that I was like close to forty five percent on the destruction meter. If I'm able to destroy it a, a little bit more of the environment, I should be able to reclaim that bit of bounty. But now, and so, and then, since we started these stages, and I noticed there's like a star rating of sorts, and I'm assuming the bounty is tied to, you know, again, if you can finish the level with as high of a bounty as you can, you get something. Is there an incentive for doing this, or is it really, or is the game fairly lenient? It's just, hey, just, you know, get get from point A to point B and beat the game. Well, the pretty much the most you absolutely need to do in every level is destroy all the wanted stuff. Like everything else is just part is just for either completion's sake or to get stuff from the extras gallery. 
Oh, look, you got the 50% destruction bonus. Hooray! And like I said, that is basically, like, the big thing with the bounty. The bounty pretty much helps you figure out... Well, the bounty unlocks stuff from the extras. Let me see. Okay. Where's the last... Where's the last thing that I need? I want to say... Well, there's the, there's the elephant and the mouse over there. Well, I do know that, like, the elephant and the mouse is... I want to say that's, like, one of the last things I need to do. Okay. Because that technically is a thing I need to get to the boss. Okay. Oh, so this game does have bosses. Yes, it does. At the end of every world, there is a boss. Just trying to remember how I'm supposed to unlock that gate. Let's think. Oh, no, wait a minute. I just remembered something. What up? You, you see that tree with the giant cork in it? Uh, yes. I think I so. have to uncork it. Ooh. Okay, but how would we, a simple, a simple-minded Taz, go about uncorking such a beast? Whoop! Well, first off, maybe not do that. Yeah, okay. now you're just well far away from that cork tree. Uh, oh, but I think I see a path we go. I think I see yeah, a path we go over there and go around the right edge. The levels Get are. All. I mean, I'll say again, the levels are fairly open, and you know. Okay, these little hints as well. Again, like I, if there was, if there was, like one big thing I think this game would desperately need, especially for a game that seems very much prime on uh, exploration and finding little secrets, such as that thing there. Um, I think, yeah, again, I think a mini map or a map to like be able to like orient yourself and know where you are would be super convenient. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, cool. Also, like, if it seems like I'm stalling here and there, that is, like, Parsec sometimes, like, getting in the way sometimes. You'll be Sorry. fine. I did learn about something that's kind of ridiculous and silly. What's up? Oh, you, the, you mean the, the fact that Space Jam, we finally know what the Space Jam new Legacy video game is? Nah, I was actually saying else. Uh, so you guys know X you guys know about Xbox, right? Yeah. I it, I don't believe it was an I don't believe it was an April Fool's joke. I think it's real. Xbox to play to playing with the joke of what the Xbox Series X kind of resembled. Oh, I know Xbox, what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I guess for Celian hype, then Xbox has announced that they are actually going to be producing uh, 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 probably just a limited number, but Xbox mini fridges that what? so it it can hold up to like three soft drink sodas. But it's a mini fridge that looks like the Series X because everybody made the joke that it looks just big and rectangular like a fridge. <laughs> so they made yeah. the Xbox Series X mini fridge. Is it is it sad that I kind of want that mini fridge? I kind of want it too. I just Me I, too. Lo I love the I, I love the gag idea of it being also. Can uh, you please novelty? let go, Mr. No, Mickey. I'm trying to because like that is one thing that I will say that. Ah. There it is. Okay. Uh, the monkeys okay. are a little unwieldy, and I keep forgetting about that. Was that always? Was, were they always that unwieldy even in the GameCube version? Not. I genuinely don't remember, to be honest. What was, I guess I should ask. When was the last time you played this game? Yeah. Um, years ago. Careful. Ah, oh. you, it was so long ago that Taz forgot his own birthday. Kind of, yeah. I know I can make that with the tire. It's just gonna. Also, as far as the mini fridge goes, I'm. Uh, I just now looked at a price tag. I don't think I'll be getting it. I think it's a. I, I understand the novelty. Oh, I, there's a tire over there. It's the hype as well. It looks, well, no, that it tire, looks angular, though. Yeah, that tire is what bounced me over there to begin with. I'll show you. See? Oh, so you go up there and then go up Whee! there. Oh, darn. It was a freaking automatic tire. One thing I think could also help is maybe if you could, you know, jump while spinning. Yeah, or do like a Donkey Kong spin roll jump. Yeah, seriously. Again, like this game. Like. With Taz's lone gimmick of literally being a speeding bullet while spinning, like, that could lead to some very impressive physics platforming. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. So if they could roll with that, like, ah. There, there is something, I do agree with everybody, what everyone's saying here, like, there is something here. Go! Um, but, uh, so I guess, potentially silly question, Hype, have you beaten uh, Taz Wanted? I have once. It, like I said, it was years ago, and it... What am I trying to say? Once you get past, like, certain obnoxities, like, again, this devil damn monkey, it's not that hard to beat. It's just that there are, like, some bits of jank you do have to get over. So, does he work like a slingshot where you have to pull back on it while he's swinging you, or do you have to, or do you press a button to be let go? Actually, I didn't think about that. Let me try that real quick. Yeah, like, yeah I get the yeah, feeling like, that I'm thinking maybe, it's... maybe it's like a slingshot, so you pull back and then release, and then... I don't think that's... Nope. Mm. Darn. Okay. Would one of Damn. you gents be so kind as to, like, see if anyone's explained it in a walkthrough? Okay. 
We'll cut, we'll right we'll back, cut, we'll cut this out. Oh, actually, press start. Oh, uh, what's up? Don't move. There is a map. Oh! <laughs> what do you know? I mean, that is, that, okay, that is handy. And it, oh, that's so cute. It does actually look like how a map would normally look for, like, an amusement park area. <laughs> so for those that so for those that were about to pitch it us in the comments, they got, there, there's no map feature. Uh, you guys were right. I, and I, well, I was going to say, I would care, I would love a... Don't be afraid to monkey around. <laughs> we need some simian help to get to the top. Yes, but how? Okay, hang on. Remember to destroy every plant. Now go land yourself with the first monkey. Jump up to grab his arm. Then use the stick to swing yourself back and forth. And press X as you reach the peak of the swing to jump up. Back so he's just going back and forth. Back and, back and forward. forward. Back and forward. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back Yeah, no, I do agree, though. This looks very jank. It's a yeah. little... It's, it looks... What makes it tricky is that it looks like something keeps stopping you. Like, he's he, he, has, he has a freaking power limiter on. He can't reach his full monkey power. <laughs> I mean, Man. they are essentially Go. the primitive Saiyans. That they be... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let me try something. Okay. Okay, I can't pull a symbol. I can't force them to change directions. Yeah. Aw, sorry. Sorry, Tazzy. You are you are no king of the jungle. Wait, <laughs> if, if it's all about... Wait, wait, if it's all about positioning... Hang on, uh, go I tried, back. Like, go, no, go to the second monkey, because I think the second monkey was actually facing that way. So, was it all about? So there's this guy, right? Uh, hang on, let me try to make sure. Yeah, I'll do it. So with this guy, if you go back and forward, like where as the monkey's facing, and then oh, and oh, up and, and down, and up and down. I'm assuming you are just like. like Go ahead. I was about to say, what's weird is that, like, when I'm trying to go a certain direction, he'll try to, like, I'm trying to go up and down, he'll sort of inadvertently go left and right as well. Interesting. Are you try using D-pad? That way you can. That way you can be. Okay. That way you can be sure you're only holding one direction. And it's not trying to do something with the analog stick. <laughs> Sorry. Don't no worry, Sealy. We'll be done with this in the bed. We're gonna figure this out. Hang on, I'll try to get one of the other um, wanted posters. I'm not bored, I swear, I'm just tired. It's been a long day, but no worries. We'll have some other stuff going on. And yeah, as far as what the guy I'm is telling me, he that's is test bowling you right now. But yeah, as I'm looking at it, that's all the guy that's all the guy can tell me is hey, use the monkey and do this. The I years. mean, maybe is there is there like a video walkthrough that might help? Uh, I'll look that up as well, because I did see that as well. If I go to part one, let's see how much they were able to complete in the time that we've been spending on this. Let's see. Okay, if he goes over there, he goes to the monkeys. Excuse me. He, he, I, I'm seeing him gain a lot more. Oh, well, first, well, first off, the first clip I went to was him failing the monkey swing as well. So, I mean, he, <laughs> and, and I just noticed a crossfade. So, okay, it's not just you hype. The monkeys are fairly jank. Because yeah. even the guide is like, ah. But as I'm looking at here, it looks oh, like boys. he's... But as I'm looking at here... Mm -hmm. It looks like you, it looks like you just have to not be afraid to... Not be afraid to just kind of give it a, a little bit of time. Just moving the thing back and forth and swinging gain higher and higher. And then he also isn't swinging as fast. He's kind of going slowly back and forth. And then he gets the, the amount of oomph he needs to get up onto that platform. Okay, uh, I'll get to that once I take out th this one guard leaning to one of the other uh, posters. Okay. I will, say, though, that, I will say, though, that being said, we might want to uh, wrap this up pretty soon, because it's our, we're already past half hour mark. Whoa, what the? Ouch. Whoops. The, ha the alligator didn't even help, help you there. Fine. There's no one he licked. Okay, <laughs> and that being said, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, sorry for that, you know, sudden blue bald moment, but uh, that's it for a look at on Tasmania for the PS, or not Tasmania, Tas Wanted for the PS2. Yeah, no worries, again, it's, it's totally fine. Again, this was still a neat little experiment that they did. I still think Sheep Raiders may be my favorite, both in terms of uh, the, the mechanics and the level designs, but I appreciate another look into this generation of games so i guess with that said do you want it would you mind ending us off hype or taz if you prefer <laughs> perfect till next time everybody bye, bye. why for this game betray me